you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and read the question to understand the scenario being described. The first thing that we need to do is to draw a picture based on the description. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is the refinery. We have indicated that it lies two kilometers across this river. We also have the distance from the south end of the river to where the pipeline needs to end, stated as nine kilometers. And then the distance that we're searching for is from the refinery to this point across land, point P, before the pipeline bends and goes across the water to its destination. The question is asking us to minimize the cost, so we're going to have to come up with a cost function for this pipeline. There will be two costs, or two parts to the costs, I should say. The cost required to lay the pipeline across the land, and then the cost required to lay the pipeline over water. And those two costs are different. Over land, it's $400,000 per kilometer, and over the water, it's $800,000 per kilometer. The basic idea is that the cost will equal whatever the distance is multiplied by the price per kilometer. So for example, across the land, we have a distance of X and a price per kilometer of 400,000. And so we could say that the cost across land is 400,000 X. Over the water, it's a little more challenging because we don't have anything labeled for this distance right here. So that becomes our next task. Let's note that this distance here is two kilometers. It's simply the width of the river. This distance from here to here, if we look carefully in the diagram, would be the nine kilometers subtracted by the X. That would be the leftover portion of this distance right here. So we can label that nine minus X. Because we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find an expression for the distance across the river here. Here we have the Pythagorean theorem. We can call this side A, this side B, and of course the hypotenuse is C. Plugging in the known values and simplifying just a little bit gives us the following expression for the hypotenuse or the length across the river. So let's go ahead and label that on the diagram. Now we can establish an expression for the cost of the pipeline going across the river. Remember, cost is distance times the price per kilometer. We have a distance labeled here, and the price per kilometer across the river was 800,000. So we can fill in the cost going across the river right here. We can actually simplify underneath the radical by foiling out the nine minus X and then combining like terms. So let's do that. We might also want to write the square root an exponential form. So let's do that. It turns out that it will help us when we have to calculate the derivative later. So let's change the square root to a parentheses with a one half. So there's the final version of our cost function. The next step is to take the derivative. This derivative is easy because it'll just be 400,000. The next derivative will require the general power rule and chain rule, really. So we have to pull the one half down, multiply it by the 800,000, recopy the inside, subtract one from the exponent, and then, according to chain rule, take the derivative of the inside. After calculating the derivative, we have to set it equal to zero. And then, of course, the challenge is to solve for x. So let's clear some room and do that. Let's subtract 400,000 from both sides. And then we can actually divide both sides by 400,000. Uh, maybe one way to proceed next would be to change this negative one half to a positive one half. In order to do that, we need to move this large term in parentheses to the denominator. Remembering that there's also a one here, we can actually cross multiply. Next, we can square both sides. Remember, when you raise a quantity to the one half, that's really the same thing as having the square root of that quantity. And if we want to get rid of the square root, we can square both sides. Also note that when you square the left side, it's going to become a positive. Because when you square a negative, negative times a negative makes positive. Note, we squared the right side as well. Let's FOIL that out. Let's gather all terms to the right side of the equation. So subtract x squared, add 18x, subtract 85. To solve this, we can use the quadratic formula, remembering that a is 3, b is negative 54, and c is positive 239. Here are the solutions. If you have any questions about where those are coming from, please let me know in the comments. What we need to do is plot these solutions on a number line and use the first derivative test to decide whether each solution is a maximum or a minimum or possibly neither. So let's plot these on a number line. The exact value of the solution is below and the approximate version using a calculator is shown above. It turns out that this solution here can actually be rejected 
and here's why. Recall, and here's a rather crude representation, that the picture showed the distance across this from the south side all the way to where the pipeline was going to end was only nine kilometers so we certainly can't extend beyond that remember x is this distance here and it wouldn't make sense for our x to go beyond nine so we can reject this because it's 10.15 and really now we only have to test whether this point certainly produces a minimum which is what we're looking for so recall in the first derivative test, we choose a value that's less than this so-called critical point, so maybe six, and also choose a number that's a little bit greater than that critical point, so maybe eight. And what we'll do is we'll plug these into the derivative. Let's remind ourselves what the derivative was. I strongly recommend that you use a calculator for this part of the problem. You're gonna plug six into this derivative and determine whether it comes out positive or negative. When we plug six in, we see the derivative would actually turn out to be negative less than zero what that means is our cost function would be decreasing something like that and when we plug eight into the derivative we see that our cost function is positive or greater than zero which means the cost would be increasing so the minimum cost is going to occur right here at this value and you can probably plug in just the simplified value so it's approximately 7.85 is going to be the value of x that minimizes the cost of the pipeline